Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm gonna try to keep my focus on the camera right here instead of going over here. But either, but anyway, um, there's an allegation that I've had to address twice this month, very close to each other. So I'm guessing there's or what I wanna call a false doctrine that got taught by a false teacher somewhere probably some internet stuff i mean maybe you know i got friends all over facebook all over the world maybe somebody could help me uh unpack this lie i mean i pretty much already have my understanding and what it is so i don't make this video too long is um two people uh as i was talking to them um having a conversation about the word of god there is some uh teaching out here that's saying that um eve the mother of humanity the wife of adam and uh the mother of cain and abel did not eat now we know that people say that um she ate that they ate an apple we know that we don't know whether it was an apple or what kind of fruit it was all we know that it was fruit and it came from a tree um so back to what i was saying that eve did not um eat from the tree and then give to her husband adam to eat what happened was they're saying that uh, the serpent in the garden actually tricked Eve into having relations, sex, or in so many words, if you want to, if you want to break it down to sin, committed adultery with the serpent in the garden while Adam was right there. We know Adam was right there. Um, in a second, I'm going to read it to you in the Amplified Bible, but um, and I mean. There's more like that, but I'm not even gonna even touch that because it just really doesn't make any sense. Like um, Abel was Adam's son <laughs> and Cain was the evil natured son that was the son of Satan or the son of, uh, of the serpent, you know? But without further ado, in Genesis 3, I'm, I'm, I mean, you guys, you know, you can see this, this stuff is not that difficult. And it's right there in your Bible. So you'll be able to um, address some of this, this false doctrine that's being preached. It's, and people are spreading this stuff because it's interesting. People got itching ears. You know, they want they want to learn more. Oh, I got to go deeper. That's why people are studying from out of the book of Enoch and some of these other what they call the lost books of the Bible. But anyway, it says now the serpent was more crafty, subtle, skilled in deceit than any living creature in the field which the Lord God had made. The serpent Satan said to the woman, can it really be that God has said you shall not eat from any tree in the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees of the garden, except the fruit from the tree, which is in the middle of the garden. God said, God said, you shall not eat from it, nor touch it. Otherwise you will die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you certainly will not die. For well, God knows that the day that you eat from the tree that your eyes will be open, that is, you will have a greater awareness and you will be like God, knowing the difference between good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was delightful to look at and the tree to be desired in order to make a wise and insightful, she took some of it sorry she took some of its fruits and ate it and she also gave some to her husband and her and he ate i'm just gonna stop it right there um you know later on it talks about their eyes being open and they were able to to realize that they were naked and god said who told you that you were naked and then they talked about uh went into how the serpent had deceived them but you can see it right here i mean it just really doesn't make any sense 
I mean, I, I know that sometimes certain scriptures, you just can't take it literal and it goes real, um, you know, and that it, it goes deeper than what the natural mind is, is saying um, because it's written in Hebrew. I mean, this is written in Hebrew and then going to the New Testament, you get into the Greek. So there's different definitions, but either way, don't, and this is, this is what really catches these guys. I'm really good at asking questions back to the people. And sometimes you don't really have to address certain allegations. Sometimes you can just ask what Jesus was really good at. When people ask him real silly things, he was really good at um, answering a silly question with a, with a, with another, well, I'm sorry, not with another, but with a good question. And in this case, when they, when the, the two people that I'm talking about who had said this, I said to myself, I'm sorry, I said to them, now don't you think if if Eve, two things, if Eve had really had sex with the serpent, the Bible says that she also gave to her husband and he ate too. Does this mean that Adam was gay? You got to ask people now, you and I, I mean, anybody that knows the Bible knows that if God, if, if this was a sexual, a homosexual or like an orgy that happened, don't you believe that God would address these things? I mean, come on. I mean, are we just going to let, oh my goodness, I'm at seven minutes. I mean, is he just going to let that fly? That would have been the first adulterous situation in the Bible. That would have been really good for uh, marriage counselors to talk about when it comes to infidelity. It would have been real good for um, marriage conferences to talk about, To you can preach off of that and say, this is the main reason why you don't leave your wife out in the streets to handle business, to handle affairs with strange men because you need to be watching her back, you know, this, that, and being her protector, you know. I mean, you could really, I mean, people preach on that anyway, but it's just so much more to unpack if that was that situation. And sometimes you don't really even have to bring that much scripture. Just use common, ask the people to use common sense. Now, in both cases, it just didn't make any sense. There's nothing in here. It's, it talks about, you know, about, uh, yes, when they, when they did eat from the, eat from the tree, of knowledge and good knowledge of the tree of knowledge and good and evil their eyes were open and they did they realized certain things that they were naked you know and uh but but at the end of the day there's nothing in here that has anything to do with sex i just wanted to address that you guys I, i'm not because i'm already at eight minutes um you guys can uh, can can if y'all got any questions about this even if i got some some people in my friends list that want to go deeper into this you can comment on it you can i mean you really can i open this up for discussion but i would really want to know where did this doctrine originate from because it's not here maybe it's in the book of enoch where they talk about the, the sons of god laying down with the daughters of men and how they created how giants entered the land and and all of this other stuff. I mean, I'm, I can dig. I mean, I can dig that conversation. But let's talk about it. I'm at nine minutes. God bless y'all. Share this um, video with anybody that may have brought this up to you. Because, I mean, if we, we've got to put this stuff to rest. We cannot. We can no longer let people just read certain scriptures and just, you know, make garbage out of the doctrine that we live off of, the, the instruction manual of life. We have got to address this stuff with truth. God bless y'all.